Ooh, we've got a cutscene while the map loads in. That's kind of cool. I like this. Wonder Weapon, Pack-A-Punch, a random clock. Oh, fire. Okay. So we're playing a map called Dark Harvest. Now, oh my god. W welcome to Dark Harvest. Your first task is to unlock and explore the house. If you need any help, press tab on your keyboard or select on your controller to view a current task. I was going to walk into the damn house, but it gave me a cutscene. The quality of this is insane. Double tap... Press F. Okay. Now we have a flashlight. Quick revive over here. Um, I suppose we'll buy this. It looks pretty cool. What have we got on the wall here? It's a cordite. It's a 1500. Well, how does one get into the house? Ah, uh, here we go. The door is 1250. Okay. That's not too expensive then. Oh, we got debris over here as well. How big is this map? Yes, yeah, so this map's called Dark Harvest. I, I was just thrown into this. Um, it, it looked really cool on the Steam Workshop. I had it recommended to me and I saw it was like five stars. I think it released in March, like late March or something. I really like the HUD actually. So 100, I'm assuming that's our health uh, on the left. And then we've got the points, which is like actual dollars. Okay. I mean, to be on the safe side, I'm probably going to go ahead and buy this Cordite. It's basically like, if you guys ever played Advanced Warfare, it's like the Battle 27, right? It's the gun from Black Ops 4, but it really reminds me of the bell. I'm kind of a bus over here. This, like, fucking setup, honestly, reminds me of The Walking Dead. Which, I mean, that was the kind of vibe I was getting when I heard farmhouse, like, overrun in an apocalypse kind of thing. So, oh, Max Ammo reloads our weapon as well. That's huge. Oh, I'm always a fan of that. Oh, we might as well get into the house as soon as possible. Now what? Oh, it seems as if someone is still here down in the basement of the house. What the fuck? Find the combination of the lock and unlock the basement to talk to the man. So we need to find the combination of the lock. Open the drawer. Oh, you can actually look in here. What the fuck? One? Um, so I assume the first number is one then. Okay. Uh, what was that? Open the drawer. Nope, nothing there. Gotta be careful though. Fucking zombies are... Uh, fucking... Oh, Jesus. Yes, hello. I know, I know, I know. Something at the back there. What is that? Like a gold ingot of some kind. I, I don't know. What is this? Minecraft? 420 on the microwave. Cool, dude. Okay. This map is sick. So the first one is definitely one. It's the round. Oh, we got a death machine. Nice. Open the drawer. We've got another one here. Three? Okay. Oh, pick... Oh, shit. I picked up... Nice. There's just a gun on the floor. I think it spawns dogs. Oh, yes. Hello. Hi, dogs. How's it going? Open the weapon cabinet. 5,000. It looks like a cool gun in there, but it can't be that good. We've got debris here. Open drawer. Eight. Ah, there we go. 138 or 831, maybe. Okay. So if we know the code, uh, one, three, and then this one must be eight. How's that? Is that going to work? There we go. One, three, eight. Oh god, hello! That fucking downed me quickly. Jesus Christ. There we go. One, three. Oh, it turns them all when you go to turn them. What the fuck? Uh, oh no, it's shut. I'm dead. Okay, one, four, two. Oh, here we go. We've got some gold. One, four, two. Or like, one, two, four. Let's try four, one, two. Okay, no, it's not four, one, two. Oh, fucking dogs. Okay, I'm not going to go down. How am I red screen? I don't know. I need to go by quick revive before I have another stupid death. Two, four, one. No. How about two, one, four? Hello, zombie? Can you die? Jesus Christ, what was that about? Uh, so it's not two, one, four. It's not two, four, one. It must be one at the top. One, two. <gasps> one, two, four was the code. Jesus Christ, that took long enough. <laughs> right, now what? We have to do something, I imagine. Talk to the man. Oh, he's got voice acting? Just a slight zombie issue. Okay, so he's shooting me the keys. Here we go. Take gar garage keys. Now I have to go to a garage. Cool. Oh, I love how there's like the please wait thing around here. Oh my god, the thrasher is around now? Okay, um, I'm just dead. What the fuck? What'd you expect me to do? You're just gonna fucking spawn a thrasher on my face, dude? That's perfectly fine. I hold F for part. Cool, we have a part of some kind. I don't fucking know what. I was like, oh my god, that's cool. The KT4's there. And I just had another thrasher spawn in. So, what do you expect me to do, bro? Oh my god, I gotta reload. Please don't kill me. I'm just, I'm just screwed, man. What am I supposed to do? Is this serious? You're going to give me the garage keys, but then you're going to get me stuck underground and spawn two fucking thrashers on top of me. 
There we go. Got the fucking door open already. It was like 484 or something. Now, if we could just fucking talk to this person and not die, that'd be great. I want to get this KT4 built because that'd be fucking sick. We've got a PPSH on the wall. Honestly, might be worth getting that. Hello, zombie. Here we go. Take garage keys. Uh, oh, it's actually a part. Was that for the trample steam or something? Okay, anyway, I'm not sticking down there to find out. Let's just go. So we've got the garage keys, which means we can go into the garage, right? The horde was alerted. So are you fucking serious? Ooh, okay. It's like left for dead, honestly. Like, that's kind of sick that they do that. But anyway, please tell me I get points for doing this at least. Need to get my old reliable PPSH. That's honestly what we need to do. Oh yeah, we get points for this. It's not too bad. This is a really well-made map. I'm not going to lie. I'm just like half asleep, so I'm <laughs> struggling to, uh, to get through this. Holy shit, it's still spawning in zombies. We're only on round four, dude. Okay, that should be the last one. Oh, Christ. <laughs> well, we're on 7,600 points now. You know, I'm not even going to waste time. I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to buy the goddamn weapon. Now, we opened the garage. So, what do we have to do next? Couldn't even go in there. Um, Let's see. What's in here? Got to be something. Effort for part. Okay. Another part. Pack a punch part, I assume. Um, Additional parts required. Ah, the power switch. Hallelujah. Power is now on. And jug is right next to it as well. The cellar is now unlocked and perks are available to purchase. Ooh. Must be structures boarded up with wooden planks that can be removed with some kind of tool. Okay, so we need like... Um, I guess a crowbar would be a good sense of direction. We have Jug. I feel a little bit safer. Something about returning to the cellar. What can we do down here? Oh, here we go. Multiple parts and crafting benches around the farm. Ragnarok DG4s in this map. Okay, that's cool. The shield, of course. Pack a punch. Uh, okay. Uh, we can just talk to him again. Back here, so you must have done something right. I have a theory as to why these zombies A game theory? Farm. I found some sort of Glowing rock fell ah, back and buried it in my front yard. Ah, there. The ground started glowing a little red when the rock was buried. And ever since the zombies have been here, it's just great. Okay, we got lore. Find a shovel, get the rock, find a shovel, get the rock and try to destabilize it. Come back here when you're done. So I need to find a shovel? Oh my god, dude. Like, what? Where am I supposed to go? Door is still shut up there. Where would I get a shovel? I mean, we have doors. Let's open one of these, man. Who knows? Oh, we've got a shield part. Okay, the Zetsubo shield. That's neat. We have a perk of some kind. Muscle milk. Electric melee stabs. Okay. Certainly sounds sick. What is in here? I don't know. Yeah, we need some kind of like... Axe, maybe? Ah, oh, we have PhD flopper. Not bad, not bad. Another fucking door over here, but that's 3,000 points. Jesus, dude. Well, there was that burning house. Maybe there's something in here, perhaps? Oh, hello. There's an axe. Well, that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, what's upstairs? Galva knuckles. Double tap 2.0. Oh my god, I need that. And there's some kind of a part there as well, I think. I'm not going to risk getting stuck and having to end the round. So let's just go and do this real quick. Where was that room we could open? It had like the, the fucking wooden... Here we go. We've got some kind of like a warehouse we can open. Boom. Smash, smash, smash. Okay, there we go. It opened. A mutated thrasher. What the ever-living fuck? Uh, can we melee it? Melee, melee, melee. Boom. Slice, slice and dice. This guy is fucking... This guy actually looks sick. I'm not going to lie. Look at this dude. He's like purple. Oh, hello, zombie. Can we just like PPSH it? Is that going to do anything? How much health do you have, dude? Oh, I accidentally killed the fucking zombie. Just a full clip of PPSH and still nothing. Okay, dude. Okay. Another full clip of PPSH. What? How strong are you, dude? And we have dogs now. I mean, melee? Is that going to help? There we go. Jesus Christ. Jesus, dude. Well, now this is opened. We've got some kind of tequila firewall sprinting and everybody has a chance to regenerate. Interesting. Um, apart. Okay. Uh, take irradiated seed. Um, I don't know what that means, but I'll happily take it, I suppose. Some kind of a workbench here. I want to go get double tap. It was back in that fire room, I think. And there may have been another part as well. So what was up here? Was there a part? My stupid... Yeah, here we go. There's another part here. I don't know what it is, but give me that. Double tap 2.0, baby. That's literally all I need now to fucking survive. Can this axe actually one-shot? It does. Nice. And we have a double points, which is going to be great for, you know, hopefully affording some more perks, maybe. I'm going to go check the Pack-a-Punch room because, I mean, we have quite a few parts now. Did we manage to finish off the Pack-a-Punch? There we go. Craft it. 
Hey, let's go. We're about a thousand points off though, of course, but it's fine. I think you might be the last zombie as well. Now, I wonder if there's anywhere else we can open with this fire axe. There should be like another door of some kind. Oh, speaking of which, hello. I see you over here. Fucking have to buy this door. Got another shield part. That's two out of three. But look, boom. Smash, smash, smash. That's two, that's three. Open the goddamn door. We have, oh, here we go. Another fucking mutated thrasher. I mean, we have got double tap this time, so I'm not looking too bad for being able to deal damage to him. Come on. Slice, slice, slice. Ooh, careful of the zombie. Let's try and PPSH. Ah, I mean, meleeing seems to be efficient because he's not running. Something on the wall here. PDW, I think we'll pass on that one. Slice. Slight. Oh, missing. Trying not to end the round. Oh, he's raged. He's raged, dude. He's mad because he's bad and he's bad because he's mad. Let's fucking kill him, dude. Slice. Any year now, dude. I want to know how much health they gave him because uh, he's, just, he's just not dying. Let's try shooting him with the PPSH. Double tap, baby. Come on. Apparently it's still not enough. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, we have speed coder up here. That's good. There we go. Took that Such long to kill. My things. goodness. What's in here then? Oh, we got stamina up. I mean, honestly, I'm probably going to buy that right now. Another workbench of some kind. Oh, we have an e-tool. Oh, so this is the shovel we need. So we apparently have to use this shovel to go and dig something. Is it something in like the back garden? Oh, wouldn't it be this? Hello? Oh, it is. And what's this? We got something. I don't know, it's some kind of rock. Oh, you remember how we saw that electric God, thing in like the pool or whatever? Maybe if we go back there, there'll be something to do with that because it's like a rock that we had to get that spawned in all the zombies and, you know, logically, what would they do? Scientifically experimenting on them? Something to do with maybe uh, this electric thing? Or we radiate? <gasps> yes. What did that do? I don't know. Maybe we just go and talk to that dude because I have no idea what that fucking did. I don't know where the last shield part could be then, but let's just see if we could talk to the dude. Hello, hello. Right, talk to the man. Vigor rush, explosive ammo. While you were doing that, I was finishing up the formula for my weapon. Formula for a weapon? Okay. We've got a part of a gun. <gasps> oh, is it a KT4 part? I think it is. The hell is that? Wait, did the power just go off? What? Hello, lightning? Lights Low tier right god, is that you? Going Something's going on outside. Yeah. What the fuck? Now we've got a cut. Surge of lightning within the forest. What is happening? The zombie's running away from me? Oh, he's back. What? what? Oh, also, didn't we pick up a seed of some kind? Are we supposed to, like, plant it? I imagine, because, you know, a seed. If we're doing Zetsubo things, then wouldn't there be some kind of, like, plant we have to do? I imagine. Well, like around here, maybe. NV4? Okay. Uh, yeah, here we go. Plant irradiated seed. That's oh, a good thing I went back and checked, huh? Uh, time slip. Oh, faster like pap and stuff. Okay, neat. I don't know where this last shield part is. Let's see if we can build anything. Can we? No additional parts required. We have another door here that maybe... Yeah, maybe the last shield part's up there. I mean, we can go through some rounds. Something to do with getting the part for the next thing. I imagine it's with KT4 that we're like trying to get. Let's just uh, go through the round. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, yeah, it is like the KT4, uh, the part thing. Oh, hello, Thrasher. What the fuck? Where did you spawn? I don't know, but go away, please. Hey, there we go. Oh, we got a part of some kind. Nice. You know, honestly, Zetsubo is a really underrated map. I was a big fan of Zetsubo. So I guess we get Thrashers on, on round seven. That's like when they spawn. Oh, here we go. Another fucking Thrasher. <laughs> and we can also afford pack a punch now, so maybe we just go quickly do that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, we can turn off this flashlight for a minute. We don't need it on. Give me the PPSH. Ooh, this camo is kind of sick. Oh, we have like a thousand ammo. That's so nice. That's actually going to be really useful. Oh, max ammo as well? Just when I don't need it? Nice. What are we going to do? Oh, yeah, there's a door over here. Let's see if we can find the very last shield part. It will be around here, I imagine. We can go all the way around this like pond thing. That's kind of sick, not going to lie. Mystery box is here. Nice. Ah, the last shield part. Finally, an electric cherry. Cool, cool, cool. Can I stop crouch? What was that, dude? So, what do we do? Do we go for the mystery box? We might need this shovel, so I don't really want to get rid of it yet. But we can go build the shield, finally. Do we build it in here? I mean, here seems like a good a place as any. So, vine shield, was it called? Yeah, here we go. Nice, and we actually got XP because we're on the boy client. The good old BO3 Plutonium X Labs client. Okay, neat. Um, I'm assuming we can't build the other thing. Was the bench in here, I imagine? Like... 
Yeah, no, we don't have all the parts for that. Ah, we have a dog round. Okay, you know, honestly, screw it. I'm just going to go hit the box and see what we can get. Wait, no, there is no point. <laughs> there is no point. We're going to get the KT4, right? And we should have got that part now. Just uh, do the old slide tactic. Wee, woo, wee, woo. Pick up the part. Yeah, there we go. I think we've only got one dog left, so perfect timing. Let's go and get... This bad boy built. Yeah, here we go. Create formula. I don't know how exactly we're supposed to upgrade this, but, you know, I'm sure there's a way. Let's also scan for parts because there could be something. Give me that KT4. Hello, hello. Oh, move out the bloody way, dude. Prestige master. And we've got a max ammo. Give me, give me, give me. Uh, parts. Parts, 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 parts. No, I don't see anything. What is it we're missing? Is it the DG4? Because we picked up like a tiny little thing. I don't know what that was for. Wait, the KT4 has 72 reserve ammo. Are you serious? What? What the fuck? That's actually so much better than I think it used to be. I think it only had like 30. Like, let's let's charge it up and see how it is against the fucking Thrasher, dude. Can it actually kill him, please? Almost. Come on, one more shot. No? Two more shots. Yeah, there we go. It's always been really good against the Thrashers. And then you just spray into the whole horde. Look at this. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Very satisfying using weapon. Uh, let's kill you, death machine. I think what we'll do is let's go buy speed cola because all our weapons like reload really slow. Maybe we can just pack a punch the KT4. Let's see. Can we? Oh, we can pack a punch it. Oh, hallelujah, dude. That just, that makes it so much better. The Masamune. I love it because it has this cool like blue look to it. So I was actually stuck on this for a really long time because I had absolutely no idea what I was supposed to do. And there is a target practice thing we have to do at the back of the map by Electric Cherry. So you see these little targets over here. We just have to shoot all these. One, two, um, where are the other ones? Oh, here's one. Three. Oh, here we go. Four. Ah, I see it in the distance there. Five. Nice. Okay. Now we have to do that like a few more times. Okay. One, two, three, four, five over there. One. Oh, doesn't want to. Okay. Two. Where the hell are they? Three. Oh, I see it in the distance. Four and then five. One, hello, let me shoot it. Let me shoot it, dude. What's it doing? Three, four. Sometimes it just won't let me shoot it for some reason, which is strange. Hello, target. Am I blind? Um, I just spray it a little bit. Oh, I ended the fucking round in the back there. Yeah, I must be blind. I'm trying to look for it. Unless it's like all the way down here, possibly. Oh, here it is, dude. How? I was never going to find that. What the fuck? All right, we're going to do that once more. One. Two, oh, fucking let me do it, that'd be nice. Oh, I see in the distance, three, four, and then five. Oh, that sounded good, like have we completed it? Oh, we have a spirit thing here, what the fuck? Oh, my shield broke. Uh, I kind of want to go get a new one before we start something like this. What is going on, dude? Talk about fucking stress, okay. Okay, and it looks like what we need to do for this guy is actually fill him up with souls anyway, so. So yeah, I guess we'll just have to go through some rounds, fill this guy up with souls, because, uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> Does seem to be souls we need. Let's also pick up electric cherry, because, I mean, we might as well. Doesn't look like there's a perk limit, which is nice. This will be really easy as well, because we can just charge up our Masamune, shoot it down here, and not even have to move, really, because every zombie that gets here just pop, they're gone. Yeah, that lasted a while. And then we shoot again. I'm not sure how many kills exactly we need, but it shouldn't be too many. And then it'll just move somewhere. There we go. Oh, you have to actually end the round, it seems, to get him to move. Okay, we're going to have to get to, like, round 15 then if it moves a couple times. Where are you headed, buddy? Where are you going? This reminds me of Black Ops 4, honestly, little ghost step. I'm surprised. How did they even code this into Black Ops 3? This is insane. <laughs> oh, good. Dogs actually count towards the, uh, the souls. Nice. There's no way it's going to be enough, but... Um, there was another perk around here, wasn't there? Yeah, this... No, what? Blind? There we go. <laughs> How did I not hit that? Um, time slip. Yeah, it just makes doing things a little bit faster, so why not? Not that we have to worry about crafting and shit. We've crafted most things now anyway, so... We haven't had a Thrasher in a while, so I imagine we'll get one pretty soon. Just need to get through this route. Hello, KT4, can we do our job, please? Jesus. Oh, we've got a death machine, that helps. And an hints to kill as well, I mean just spoiling me game. It's nice they have like Cold War perks because I really do like the models and everything about them is just really, really neat. Definitely the best part of Cold War, to be honest. Hey, there we go. We didn't have to end the round either. Nice. Now we just wait 20 years for him to fucking get there. Come on, bro. Can you walk any slower? Well, 
float, I guess is the right terminology. Where are we headed? Ah, right on top of the seed, are we? Okay, fair enough. But whatever floats your boat. We could always pick up mule kick, but I'm like, eh do we really want to right now? You know, one thing I appreciate is on the top left of the screen, you'll be able to see it tells you like farmland is where we're at right now. Like it actually tells you exactly where you are around the map. So if you're playing co-op, it's really, really good. But just shot calling and letting people know where you are. And by the way, this feels really similar to Nightmare. I don't know if it's the same developer or what, but Nightmare is an amazing experience. It's like a horror game in Black Ops 3 Zombies. So let's fire down this Masamune. Should be able to get most of these souls. Oh yeah, look at that filling up. Oh, I fucking got a nuke. No, please souls count. Hey, there we go. He's done. Let's go. Okay, can we leave one zombie? Or is he is he gonna do more? He's gone all the way around there, bro. Where'd you head? Where where'd he go? Where the fuck did he go? Maybe he just flew into the fucking sky and finished? Like, is he done? Okay, so the first step for the radio thing that we have to do is apparently this is the next step of the Easter egg. I'm gonna just get one zombie. That's probably a smart play. Wait, wait were there souls going into the house? Is there, is he in the house? Am I stupid? Oh, never mind. Dude, never mind. He's in the house. That's where he is. I was like, huh, I could have sworn that I was seeing souls. Anyway, why dead shot? Anything else in the house that I missed? Or maybe the first time around? Oh, we have a thrasher coming by the looks of it. It's gonna be kind of scary to deal with, but it's fine. We're PPSH gaming. We don't need to worry. We're fine. Oh, hi, thrasher. Hi. Yep, see, we're good. Seems like if we just stand here, all the zombies, like, just seem to get shit on, so it's fine. Oh yeah, I see another thrasher. Yeah, they all run through this doorway, which is interesting. Neat little camping spot. Oh, hello. Looks like he's almost done. Um, can we move out the way, please? Okay, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Where are you going? He's going- he's coming in there? No, what are you doing? Ah, uh, he's gonna want one more. Fine, dude, I'll fill you up once more. We have so many perks, now it's ridiculous. Like, what- what else can we even get? There was one that had, like, explosive bullets. I don't know where that one is. Oh, was it this perk? No, this one's, like, electric melee stabs, which, you know, sounds kind of neat, but do we really want that? Meleeing's a bit dangerous right now. God, any year now, the dogs are gonna fucking get here? Jesus Christ, what is taking you so long? Where are you? There you are. Jesus, bro. Well, anyway, here we go. I mean, is there any point in buying PhD flopper? We have no explosive, like, weapons. So let's just get this last one done, and then we can get onto the fucking radio step, whatever that even means. Oh, we can sprint and hold fire. That's really, really nice. I think that's one of our perks, actually. Boom, boom, boom. Now we just run around here like nothing's happening. Oh, God, getting stuck. Getting stuck. We're fine. We're good. We're, we're totally fine. Oof. Hey, there we go. He just did like a backflip and he flew into the sky. Okay. So now we have to do the radio step. We're fucking getting on track to progress in this map. I'm gonna get down to like ideally one zombie so we can not have to worry about getting fucking shit on by them. We have so many points. Let's just open this door. Uh, what's over here? We've already bought electric cherry, right? Yeah, we have. God, so many zombies over here. What the fuck? I guess we're just running from this side of the map. Anyway, we have a clock here, right? So it's pointing at two. Okay, and we have to change a radio somewhere, like nearby here, right? I think it's this one? We have to change this so it points at the same location. Wait, but it looks like it's already done. I mean, just to make sure, should I just like rotate it like a few times? So, two. Well, that's definitely at the right one. Now, there's another clock next to pack a punch, I think. Yeah, here we go. This one is on five, and we have to do that one for Electric Cherry, the perk machine, like, I think. Also, I love how the DG4 is supposed to be buildable. Like, I haven't seen a single part for it, but okay. Here we go. What was it again? It was, like, f five? Wait, no, it was eight, wasn't it? Oh, I am stupid. It is five. I knew it. I knew it, dude. Bro, I literally said it out loud. It's five and changes it to eight. <laughs> I have a brain. I swear to God. It's half six in the morning, dude. Come on. Cut me some slack here. Right. Okay, get it back to this. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Right, now I have to go and do one in the house itself. And it's just towards the entrance of the house, right? Yeah, here we go. At six. Perfect. That's a nice easy number to remember. Six. And there should be a radio down here somewhere, right? Is it this one? Yeah, here we go. One, two, three. There we go. Lightning. That's a good sign. Ah, uh, here we go. Explosive ammo. I, was, I knew it was around here somewhere. So now for the next step, I think we need to build the Ragnaroks. And if I remember correctly, wasn't there a part right next to Stamina? The, did I end up picking it up? It was like right in this corner, right? <gasps> I didn't pick it up. It's right there. And I'm assuming we can't build it yet, but who knows? Never mind. I think, no, I think that's all the parts, right? 
I'm pretty sure that is. Let's open this door because it just makes it quicker, dude. Can we build the Ragnarok? Yes, we can. Oh, thank God. Right. Here we go. Ragnarok DG4s. And we have to place the DG4s just to the right of here. So there's like, okay, a generator. And what do we do? Slam them down. Boom. The horde was... Oh, shit. So now there's a horde around here. Nice. That's great. It's fine. I'm not in any kind of danger or anything. I mean, you know, when you have a PPSH, is it really that bad? I don't think so. Plus with all these perks, you know. Okay. We picked them back up. Attic of the house is now unlocked. Interact with the mysterious podium in order to put an end to this evil. Ah, uh, okay. So is this like just a viable ending? I assume. I assume it is. Just get rid of most of these zombies. Well, let's go and have a look, shall we? So, there's an attic. Where is it? Up here. Da, 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 da. What's this on the wall? The RPK? Okay, decent. Um, start the lockdown. That's ominous. Fighters fizz. Keep your gun when you go down. And, okay. Well, I mean, I'm not intending on going down, but weird texture glitch. Nice. Cool. Just scan for parts. We're not missing anything, are we? Don't think so. It looks like there might be something down there, but I don't really want to risk it. Well, screw it, dude. Let's just start the lockdown right now because <laughs> why not, man? This is awesome, though. I'm not going to lie. So, what do we do? We just... Just wait around here. Let's use our PPSA. Actually, running a little bit low on PP ammo. Could have done with a max ammo, but it's fine. Let's just shoot down our Masamune. Hopefully, we get a max ammo soonish. I'm not sure how long we're going to have to... Oh, speaking... <laughs> okay, ask and you shall receive, apparently. Shit, dude. Uh, let's use the PPSH a little bit again. Uh, we have a nuke as well, you know, making it just really easy for me to survive, huh? Apparently, we're going to get the boss fight immediately after this step, so I'm kind of terrified, not going to lie. How many perks do we have now? We've got like five plus another five, and like I think there's like 11, maybe 12 perks. I can't count all of those down there, man. So Someone could let me know in the comment section how many I've got, but all right. Lockdown. Lockdown's done, I think. So does that mean the boss is going to spawn? Oh, shit. The Mother Thrasher has been summoned. Fight this evil and put an end to the... What the fuck? You can't just spawn in a mother thrasher and be like, Oh yeah, just just kill her. Just kill her, dude. Oh my god, the music that's playing is kind of badass. Where is this bitch then? Where is she? Oh, here she is. Oh, she's tanky. She's scary as well. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail, dude. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. We're fine. We've got another thrasher over there. All right, let's, let's see how the KT4 is against her. Um, doom. Uh, it did like nothing. Cool. Let's try the, uh, the Ragnaroks. Ah! Huh? It what? <laughs> A boss, by the way. Okay, just casually one-shot it. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? Um, okay. Boss fight music ended. Did we win? <laughs> what? Oh, hi, Max Ammo. I mean, sure. Don't mind if I do. Like, wh what, bro? This map is fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie. I started off with like a couple failed attempts and I was completely fucking being an idiot, but this is awesome. So apparently what we need to do now is we go down to the bottom of the house again and just like interact with the dude. I mean, I don't know that for certain, but I'm just assuming because that's kind of like, you know, fetch quest style thing. Talk to the man. You did it? You actually saved me in my farm? Oh, he's sending us something? Okay, what is it? Last of round. What's this? Take the reward. Perkaholic! Oh my god, an extra three perks! That's... <laughs> you want to escape? There's a car out front. Thanks again, I owe you my life. Shit, dude. Let's get in the car then. Oh, it's a Bible ending. I see. How many points does it require then, huh? I imagine we're pretty close to being able to get it. Like, let's go see. But where's a car? Here, this one? End of the game, 50,000 points. Okay, we're like, we're half the points away. That's fine. We can train right here. Oh, we've got a fucking Thrasher spawning in. Oh, hi, dude. Yeah, I'm not scared of you anymore. <laughs> that was just a uh, piss. Okay, PPSH, how many points is this going to give? Another Thrasher? Oh, you're spoiling me, dude. Thank you. Use this death machine. Rah! This map is awesome. I love the idea of like a farm kind of map. Like, you know, you could farm in Black Ops 2, the survival map, but it wasn't that great, was it? This is just like an awesome, more open farm. What a farm should be, to be honest. This is more like, you know, Walking Dead's farm kind of thing, which, hey, it's Broads. If you're watching this, maybe you got some competition on your hands if you are planning on doing a farm map in the future, because essentially they make a bunch of like Walking Dead maps and they've made like, you know, Alexandria, the sanctuary. Well, Alexandria is actually in the works right now, but they also made the prison from, you know, season three and four. So who knows if they do a farm one or not, it could be kind of sick. We have got this double points though, which is going to be nice for this round. Oh yeah, and PhD is like sliding, isn't it? Or something? I don't know. Jump. 
Yeah, there we go. PhD slider, insta-kill double points. There is no better combo, to be honest. I mean, a death machine. That's adding to the combo, I suppose. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know where the fastest spawn is. Like, because it actually does spawn zombies across the map, which is the only thing I will say about this map is sometimes it will take so long for them to get to you, but eh. It's whatever, man. It's a very, very minor thing that can easily be fixed. Also, the Ragnarok just casually one-shotting the boss. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I just love that using the boy client and actually like ranking up. So as you can see, I'm level 38 max prestige. So I can just keep on leveling up even though I'm playing custom zombies, which is such a sick fucking concept, man. So I don't think there's going to be anything crazy happening in the rest of the game. Like literally all there is is the Bible ending, I believe. We're really close to this Bible ending now. We need another 10,000 points. If we get a couple thrashers, we might be able to get it this round, because I think they give a thousand points each, like the Brutus, although I'm not sure. You know the Brutus from Mob of the Dead? It has a specific way of giving you points. So you get 250 points for taking off his helmet, and then you get an additional 750, so a thousand total, like once you actually kill him. I never even knew that, man. Like, uh, the more you know, huh? Oh, Max Ammo, that's good. We were actually running a little bit low. Oh my god, it worked? Dude, if you... There's a secret little easter egg. What's happening? Japanese? What the fuck? Hey, you, if you're reading this, that means that some someone's in chat and poggers? Okay, dude. I basically, I looked up a little guide and there was a secret easter egg you can do. If you hold F... Like, press F, I think, was it three, four times? Melee, and then F again a couple times? Then it just gives you a free ray gun, so that's kind of sick. What's the exact message again? Hey, you, if you're reading this, that means Logical is in your chat and told you to come here, poggers. Logical edits. Hey, hey, shout out to whoever Logical edits is. That's awesome, man. So now we have the Masamune, the Ghastly Reaper, and the ray gun. You know, it's the ray gun, so it's nothing too crazy, but nonetheless, that's awesome. And we also have 50,000 points now. So one last shot of the KT4 and let's do this Bible ending. Gimme, gimme. You've escaped the farmhouse. Oh my God, I'm actually free. Let's go, dude. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. This map was absolutely awesome. Check out this video on screen of me playing Mob of the Dead 10 years later. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.